to my channel. So today we are doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here. So if you're interested in learning how to do it, keep watching. So I've already prepped my face. I've put my foundation on. I've obviously done my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna go right into this eye look. Today I'm going to be using this customized Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that I made. And I'm going to be taking this color right here in the shade Orange Soda and putting that all over my crease. This is gonna be my transition color. To apply that transition color, I'm actually gonna be using a new brush, which I've fallen in love with. It's the Smith 232 brush. This is the big blending brush. It is fantastic. If you don't have one, I would definitely recommend getting one. If you're using a very light hand and your windshield washer movements, you're just gonna take that product and move it back and forth across the eyelid. Is it just me or like when you do your makeup, do you become like more like the hunchback of Notre Dame as it goes on? I have such bad posture when I do my makeup, it's unbelievable. All right, so once that's down, we're gonna take another color, the second color in my palette, it is called Sienna. And using my Smith 230 brush, I'm going to put that in my crease and blend it into my transition color. It's quite a strong color, so you actually don't need that much of it on your brush. And I like to flick my brush before I actually apply it, just in case there's any fallout. It's not gonna get all under here and ruin the makeup that I just applied earlier. So now that has been blended in flawlessly, I'm gonna go in a little darker, this time with a slightly purple shade. I'm gonna be using this third color in my palette right here. It is called Deep Plum. And using the same Smith brush that I was just using, take an even smaller amount of this one onto my brush, flick it, and just place it along my crease. Now that that is done, I'm actually gonna put down a dark color on my crease. The reason why I'm putting this down is because once I start putting loose pigments on top of this pigment, not only is it gonna stick to it and last longer, but it's gonna be more pigmented. This is the Smashbox Cream Shadow in the color Stone. So I'm just gonna take my MAC 195 brush and place it on the middle part of my lid, lower middle part of my lid. So now I'm gonna be placing a loose powder on top of that. For today's look, I'm gonna be using this MAC Loose Eyeshadow in the color Plum. And using this Flathead MAC 242 brush, I'm just gonna apply it right on top of that Smashbox stoned that I just put down. So now I wanna focus on brightening up that inner corner. The first thing I'm gonna go in with is this NYX Dose of Dew. I'm gonna put this on my upper cheekbones to give me a good highlight. Uh, around my brows, and then of course on the inner corners of my eye. I'm kind of doing like a C pattern around my eye. Then to actually put it under my eyebrow, I'm gonna take a little brush. Oh, this is just my school brush. It's a small angled brush. I'm going to take some of that product onto that brush and highlight my brow with it. So next, I'm going to apply a different highlighter. In my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia, there is a great color right here. Use that as my inner corner highlight and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm gonna use this brush to apply that inner corner highlight. It's another flathead brush from my makeup school kit. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. And since I'm here, I'm just going to put it under my eyelid as well. Now that I have done my inner corner highlight, I just want to like exaggerate 
my cheekbone highlight and my brow bone highlight. I wonder if I should keep it pink or go gold. I think I wanna go gold. I think I'm gonna go gold, guys. So I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpt Duo. It has a bronzer and a highlighter, but we're only gonna use the highlighter today. And I'm gonna use a new Smith 230 brush to apply that. Right, that is looking absolutely gorgeous. So now I'm gonna be doing a wing liner. We're gonna be using two things, the Tattoo uh, Liner by Kat Von D. And then I always use the NYX to darken it up. Here I go, hunchback and hunch it on. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with my NYX and make it a little bit darker. All right, I don't know what just happened there, but my computer shut off, I mean, my computer, my camera shut off again. Um, anyways, we are back. We're back, folks. Okay, let's continue this eye look, shall we? So I just did my wing liner, and I'm gonna do some black eyeliner. For black eyeliner, I'm gonna use my Duce 005, which is really just black. Come on, let's be real. And I'm just gonna tight line and um, put it on my lower waterline. I wanted to add some of that loose powder that I put on my lid under my, right here under my eyes. To do that, I'm gonna be using my scone smudger brush it's a really tiny brush uh, and it's perfect for getting under your eye Take it easy. i'm gonna set my face uh, to set my face i'm gonna be using the urban decay up all night setting spray all right now that i am done that i am going to curl my lashes um, today I'm going to be using the Velour Lashes, Lash of the City, they are gorgeous, I love them. Now that I've gotten my lashes on, I'm just going to apply mascara. I'm still using my Voluminous uh, Waterproof Mascara by L'Oreal. To finish off this look, this is from Lip Lacquer. It actually doesn't have a shade on it, but uh, I'm just gonna use this on my lip. Okay, and we are done. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of our tutorial. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.